Hello, my wonderful listener. This is a day the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. On this note, I welcome you to Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice Voice of of Hope. Hope. A-W-R Ghana, Voice of Hope. Welcome to Daylight Magazine. Today's program is presented by... Wilhelm Swanika and Abigail in Kansa Mensa. You're looking very cheerful, Wilhelm. What's your secret? By the mercies of God. We thank God for his mercies and blessings. On today's program, we have reflections, a healthy you, and moments of truth. There's no need for standing up for the right unless you've gone stand up against the wrong. Tell me how you're gonna ever stop. Of being weak unless you make your mind up to be strong. You've got to do right, cause it won't be long, it won't be long. Let me tell you that it's easy to hate your enemy, and it's just as easy to love your friends. Tell me you will have to live a life. The Bible tells you you've got to let the love of God come in. Well, you've got to do right, cause it won't be long, it won't be long. Don't you want to love him better? Don't you want to love him more? Can't you even say you're knocking? He's knocking at your door. So don't you want to make haste to meet your maker before you've got to deal with the undertaker? He will take you right now. If you are willing, don't you know the Bible is fulfilling? You've got to do right. Cause it won't be long, it won't be long You've got to do right For it won't be long, it won't be long You've got to do right, oh holy life 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 You've got to do right. Right. A-W-R Ghana. Voice of hope. hope. Join us as we reflect on the lessons of life. Our next segment is Reflections. someone about Jesus. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. John chapter 4 verse 7. John records, a woman of Samaria came to draw water. After five failed marriages, her trust levels are demolished and her self-worth is zero. So she approaches Jesus cautiously. Brick by brick, he takes down the wall she's hiding behind. When he gets through, she leaves transformed. What a contrast. One chapter earlier, Nicodemus, a religious leader, came to Jesus by night, suggesting he didn't want to risk being seen with him. After telling him he must be born again, Jesus said, Whoever lives by the truth comes into the light. At that point, Nicodemus has to make a choice. There are three lessons here. 1. Christ sees potential in you when others don't. The Pharisees complained, saying, The man receives sinners and eats with them. They were right. This woman was the first person Jesus introduced himself to as the Messiah. Why didn't he do that when he called his disciples, baptized John, cleansed the temple, performed his first miracle, or interviewed Nicodemus? Because Jesus doesn't measure you by your past. He measures you by your potential. 2. Christ will change you, then use you to change others. Amazingly, she was the first person to preach the gospel in Samaria. Many Samaritans believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. 3. Christ doesn't need to be defended. 
just introduced. Many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Today, tell someone about Jesus. This is Abigail in Cancer Mensa. God bless you. From 30th October 2011 to 24th March 2012, our current frequency will be changed to 9830 kHz. I repeat, 9830 kHz. Thank you. You're welcome back. We continue with our programs on Daylight Magazine here at Adventist World Radio Ghana. Voice of hope. Is this real? Is this real? Oh, friend, let's help prevent it now. Is this real? Is this real? Oh, let's help to fight it out. Abstain, abstain, be faithful to your partner. Say no, say no to extramarital sex. It's real, it's real. It kills, it kills. It's everyone's business. Oh, be wise, be wise. Think twice, think twice. The decision is yours now. It's my business. It's your business. It's everyone's business. Prevent it now. What do you do to keep your body healthy? I try and observe healthy habits like eating well and exercising. To know more, join us for Healthy You. Hello, welcome to Healthy You. This is again Dr. Daniel Ganu speaking to you from Valley View University, Accra, Ghana. We are going to begin a new series. This time around, we are going to talk about tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. The World Health Organization tracks the major causes of death around the world. And tuberculosis is the seventh greatest cause of death on earth, killing nearly 2 million people around the world every year. Tuberculosis is a bacterial infection that is spread through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes onto others in a crowded or on someone physically near you. Tuberculosis used to be a common disease in countries with large poor populations, but uncommon in fully developed countries. Starting in about 1985, the infection rate of tuberculosis in fully developed countries began to rise rapidly. What has caused this change in the infection rate? In approximately 1985, the virus called HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, came into the world stage. The virus causes the disease known as AIDS, and it destroys a person's ability to fight infections. When God created us, he made for us a sophisticated defense system to help us fight infections. It is called the immune system. People infected with the HIV virus eventually become unable to fight infections because the virus first damages and eventually destroys the immune system. Many people living in developed countries now battle AIDS 
and secondly tuberculosis as their immune system first becomes damaged and then destroyed. So what happens if I am exposed to the tuberculosis germ? The vast majority of people who are in good health when they are exposed can fight off the infection and never develop a clinical disease. Their immune system is very strong and therefore can kill the bacteria and get rid of it. Or it can cause the bacteria to become dormant and never cause clinical symptoms. If, however, you are in poor health with a damaging immune system, when you are exposed to the bacteria, you can develop active primary tuberculosis. Within a few weeks of exposure, you will develop a cough, fever, chills, and night sweats. You will lose your appetite, feel very tired, and develop unexplained weight loss. So, does any medical condition that damages my immune system increase my risk of developing tuberculosis? Yes, we have already discussed one, HIV AIDS. Similarly, any condition that weakens your immune system will increase your risk for developing active tuberculosis. These conditions include diseases like diabetes, kidney problem, cancer, especially if you are on chemotherapy, or if you have had an organ transplant and are on medicines to prevent rejection. Medicines such as steroid weaken your immune system and increase your health risk. Also, those who suffer malnutrition and the aged are more likely to develop active tuberculosis. What are the complications of tuberculosis then? Without treatment, tuberculosis can kill you. The infection starts in the lungs, but it can spread to other parts of the body through your blood. Infection can spread to your brain, where it causes swelling of the membranes that cover your brain and the spinal cord. It can spread to your bones, where it will destroy your joint and cause your bones to break. Tuberculosis can spread to your heart. There it can interfere with your heart ability to pump blood effectively, and that can kill you as well. If the infection spread to your organs, such as your kidney or liver, those organs can fail. Tuberculosis is very dangerous, but the good news is that it can easily be diagnosed today and treated. A common skin test makes the diagnosis. Your doctor will inject a small amount of fluid into the skin of your arm, and if the test becomes positive with swelling around the injection site, you have been exposed to tuberculosis bacterium. If you have a positive skin test, a chest x-ray may show spots on your lungs that are specific for tuberculosis. When we meet next time, we will talk about how effective we can treat the disease and how to comply with the medication. Take good care of your health and you will live a healthy, optimum life. Thank you. Bye-bye. us, please write to Adventist World Radio, Ghana, Valley View University, P.O. Box, AF 
595 Adenta, Accra, Ghana, West Africa. Or if you have access to the internet, send us an email through awr at vvu.edu.gh. Or better still, you can call us on 233-2087-04532. If our lines are busy, don't give up. Just keep on trying. We are expecting your emails, your letters, and your calls. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God endure it forever. At this moment, let us listen to the word of God on moment of truth. Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Calling for you and me. See on the portals, he's waiting. My name is Lambert Nathan, and you're hearing my voice on Moments of Truth. Shall we pray? Father, I thank you so much for the life of my listener. I pray that you be with us, even as we share your word. Amen. Romans 1.29 I have something there. It says that, Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers. When I also read from Proverbs 16.32, I have something there so interesting. It reads, He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. 
The topic of my message is love and sex. Love and sex. We are in a world today and everything is turning upside down. It is just like a man sitting comfortably. And then this man has been served with poison. And then with a spoon, this person begins to enjoy the poison without knowing that it is poison or perhaps being ignorant. We are in a world when everything is turning upside down. Sex is not love, but love is greater than sex. That is, sex is for people who have crowned their love with public recognition or marriage. Sexual love can sustain a relationship, but unconditional love of God. Premarital sex is fornication and sex outside marriage is adultery. God hates that sin of immoral sex. For this reason, he destroyed nations of ancient days. You know, don't allow this sin of sexual immorality to dwell in you. Remember, there is no excuse for disobedience to God. Be proud to be a virgin. The Bible says that he who can control his passions, as I read earlier in Proverbs 16.32, he who can control his passions, he who have this self-control and then can control the emotions, such as overcoming a lustful desire of sex, this person, the Bible says that is greater than he who rules a whole nation. My dear friend, we are in a difficult situation in this world today. And people are just dying just like that. Marriages are breaking down just like that. All because our minds are filled with different things. We have deviated from the original path that God created. People have translated love to mean sex. And then anytime somebody feels that, hey, I am in love with somebody, then he thinks that the climax of that love should be proved. And then to really prove that, then sex is the only way out. This is a so-called wise way the devil is using to destroy men. The true joy of relationship, of marriage, of love has been changed and replaced with a counterfeit one that makes us believe that sex is love. When this kind of passion starts to depreciate in a relationship, then all that is left is hatred. All that is left is nothing to write home about. Many are those that engage in fornication, sexual immorality. The devil has really given man a kind of feeling that it is everything when you have sex. But Jesus is telling us that what he intends for us is true love. True love that will not cheat. True love that will not go around destroying the lives of people, raping people here and there, flogging people to have fun. That is not the love that Jesus has given us. But that is a counterfeit one that the devil has replaced with that which the Lord has given us. Now, back to the scriptural reference, Romans 1.29. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers. These are our qualities, characteristics, uniqueness of a man who bears the sign of the devil. Of a man who have decided to tell Jesus that Jesus, the death is of no importance to me. This is the character of a man who because of a failure in a relationship due to a disappointment of the other partner, have decided and purpose in his heart that I will go out there and then pay people back because I have been dealt with in a manner I don't really like. 
So such a person will go around destroying the life of others. People who even have sexually transmitted diseases have pleasure in that, go about spreading it all around with people. My friend, you have to beware. Although your eyes are open, I want to tell you that don't sleep, don't close it, open it wide. Although you can hear, I want to tell you that beware and listen widely because the devil is seeking you out there to destroy you. Trust in Jesus and think of changing yourself first before others. This is my message for you. Now let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for the life of my friend that after all we've been going through in this life, after the decisions we make because of life experiences, you are always closer to us. We thank you for that love. We are promising that we'll never go back to those old ways of sexual immorality, but we'll live and then present our bodies a temple in Jesus' name. Amen. From 30th October 2011 to 24th March 2012, our current frequency will be changed to 9830 kHz. I repeat, 9830 kHz. Thank you. You've been listening to Daylight Magazine coming to you from Adventist World Radio Ghana, Voice of Hope. If you need further information or study materials on issues we've discussed, please contact us on Adventist World Radio Ghana, Valley View University, P.O. Box AF595, Adenta, Accra, Ghana, West Africa. Or if you have access to the internet, send us an email to awr at vvu.edu.gh. Or better still, you can call us on Two three three two zero eight seven zero four five three two. If our line is busy, don't give up. Keep trying, for we are expecting your calls, emails, and letters. Today's program was presented by Abigail Inkansa Mensa and Wilhelm Swanika. Thank you, and God bless you for staying with us. So we come your way once again. Stay blessed.